Welcome back. I am out on our patio and we are talking all about the 50th anniversary of the Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championships and I have Brock Glover, a former professional motocross rider. Tell us about this event. You were just telling me about the history and this is a huge deal. It's all happening this Saturday. This is, I mean, this is the 50th anniversary of Pro Motocross, and Motocross was really brought to the United States right here in San Diego. So San Diego has a long history of champion riders and the sport itself. But the interesting part about this one is we started at the same Fox Raceway up at Pala, mm -hmm. and then from going all the way around the country, coming right back, we were only separated by Eli Tomac and Chase Sexton, two of the premier names in the sport by one point. And that one point, ironically, was actually uh, a difference of a, a penalty point that Chase occurred at one of the Colorado routes. So to have these two heavyweights, this is like our Game 7 World Series, two Cy Young Award winners on the mound, and we're going extra innings or a over, double overtime in a, a Super Bowl. So it's just a remarkable series, and it's never been like this before. Well, to celebrate 50 years for the motocross championships, but then also to have these riders out there competing, this is going to be a very special day, is it not? It is, and and the fact is, I mean, we're going to have, we all have seen the weather forecast. We've been watching KUSI all morning, and we know it's going to be in the triple digits. And because of that, they are doing extra precautions. Again, fans have extra shade, water. Riders, they're actually shortening our 30-minute plus two-lap races down to 25 plus two laps because we have to pay attention to the heat. They wear helmets. Mm -hmm. They've got a lot of protective gear on, so it is hot. But I just, these two riders right here have just elevated every week. They've been battling wheel-to-wheel on the track and fans of the sport of motocross have truly never seen racing this close. What does the course look like? Do the athletes also get to walk the course before the big race? Yes, they get practice sessions in the morning. They get to walk the track if they'd like. Uh, the riders here are actually quite familiar with the Fox Raceway track because they do sometimes sneak out and practice during the week. Eli himself, kind of, the, the, I guess it's the two different changing of the guards in some ways. I mean, Eli is nearly 30 years old. He turns 30 in a few months. He's married, has two kids. Chase, young 22-year-old, turns 23 at the end of this month. And he's single, no kids, that kind of thing. So you're sort of seeing the young buck and the old buck uh -huh. going out there. But both of these riders have spent plenty of laps at Fox Raceway, and uh, so they've also had a race early the first round. Again, I mentioned that earlier, it was there this year, and so they, they're familiar, so they'll be going at it real hard. And then we also have a 250 championship. This is a 450cc motorcycle, and the 250 uh, bikes will also be racing where we have a young Australian rider, kind of a young phenom. He was last year's champion, and he's on his way, it looks like, to win in his second championship in a row, so it's exciting. Well, this is going to be a couple huge races for all the motocross athletes that are going to be out there but the fan experience is also just incredible these bikes they're so loud and i've been to a couple of motocross things over at peco park and that place just goes wild it is, and you're going to see bikes jumping, and, and, and the Fox Raceway track has a lot of hill changes, very good for visibility. You can climb up on the hillside and see the whole track. And again, Chase Sexton, actually his first professional Supercross win came here just a few years ago at Petco Park. So he loves San Diego, and Eli himself, multi-time champion, and he wants to get another one. So it's a it's a big deal, and it's also, besides the prestige from like your manufacturers uh -huh. of Honda and Yamaha, but it's also financially quite rewarding for him. So you're talking easily over seven-figure difference between wow. winning and and, and taken second. Are these the bikes that they're going to be riding out there? Because I can tell that they work. I can smell the gas. <laughs> <laughs> these are actually sort of their display bikes. These are actual okay. replica. I know these plastics right here came off of Chase's bike. That's his number 23, and he does ride the Honda. Eli's famous for his number three here, kind of a Dell Earnhardt tribute shape three, and uh, he does ride the Yamaha here. So, and uh, also, I mean, even the team manager of this team right here was born and raised in El Cajon. So, San Diego, uh, a young man named Jeremy. Coker. So yeah, yeah, San Diego has a long history of the sport of motocross. All right. Well, coming up this Saturday, the 50th anniversary of the Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championships. Where can people go get tickets quickly? You know, you can go online, Fox Raceway, and you can also just go MX Sports uh, or AMA Pro Motocross Championships, and you can find them right there. It's really easy to find. All right.